Hi, welcome back. I am at McDonald's. They have a new McFlurry. It is a strawberry shortcake McFlurry. So not quite what I was expecting when I heard strawberry shortcake, but it is, of course, the vanilla soft serve ice cream, strawberry flavored clusters, and crispy buttery shortbread cookies. So I would think I was expecting more of a, like a cake and not a cookie, like a shortbread cookie. So I think you can see strawberry, let's see, strawberry pieces and the little cookie pieces. I also have some other fast food news for you in a minute and, and some advice. Advice if you are traveling out of the country. Okay, let me try this. Come back to Very strawberry. I'm trying to, these clusters. I feel like the clusters are like coated in something. Almost like a white chocolate maybe. That's the texture I'm getting. Let me try the cookie. Of course, I get the texture of the cookie, but I'm really not getting the flavor. This was not mixed well at all. It's like there's nothing at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. See in there? There's really nothing at the bottom. So the pieces are a little crispy, like crunchy, but it's not like they're not. I was expecting them almost like a Rice Krispie. <laughs> where it would be um, kind of airy, but it's not. And then I was also thinking maybe it would be like the, uh, the ice cream that's coated in the strawberry shortcake. But I've only had that like once and I really can't remember. Oh, I get a big piece of cookie. Got a big piece of cookie. I'm gonna taste it now. To me, it's more for texture than flavor on um, the cookie part. The clusters definitely get the strawberry flavor. I'm not sure I'm gonna rate this one just because I'm not a huge strawberry fan, strawberry shortcake fan. Um, but I'll tell you the clusters, they feel like they have some type of coating on them, almost like a white chocolate. Not that I get that flavor, it's just the texture of it. And the cookie, all I'm getting is a texture. But I do get from the um, clusters, I do get the strawberry, strawberry flavor. And of course it's, it's an artificial strawberry flavor, but not like a really bad artificial strawberry flavor, if that makes sense. If you're, if you like straw, like my, my son loves strawberry, anything strawberry, so I think he'll really enjoy this. Um, for me, I will stick with the Oreo. But yeah, mine could, but it could definitely use some more, some more stuff. This was three forty nine. Just my two cents. Um, it's out. Let's see how long it's out for. So this is a limited time, of course, and it is available um, while supplies last. So however long that might be. Maybe it just, maybe it just needs to be mixed more. Not that it needs more stuff. Well, it needs more cookies. But like I said, that's more for texture than, than flavor for me. They should have left it on this mixer longer. So yeah, so that's available if you want to give it a try. So another fast food news, if you are a fan of the Blizzard, you are going to want to get the Dairy Queen app. Because you know the price of Blizzards are crazy. Uh, but now through, well, it started on April 10th, but through the 23rd of April, you can get an 85 cent blizzard. They're celebrating the debut of the uh, blizzard that came out in 1985. So in here, I was thinking that the blizzard had been around longer than I have, but not true. Not true. So yeah, so 85 cent, you need to get the, um, the app. So I don't know if it's any of the um, blizzards you can get 
I think it is. So anyway, 85 cents, great deal because, you know, the mini blizzard is like $4. So, and this is a small, so that is a good deal. And I don't know if that's a one-time use or not. So, like I said, you just have to order on the app to get that deal. Um, oh, nacho fries are back again. I thought they were keeping them on the menu, but they didn't. But they're back at Taco Bell if you want to give those a try. So a little tip if you're traveling out of the country um, this summer, fall, whenever, um, check your passport, make sure it's valid. Make sure it's valid six months after your return date. I didn't know this information um, until recently. So yes, if it's within that time, within the six months. So if you, you're traveling in June, and your passport expires in August, that's not enough time. You're gonna need to get it renewed. So I had to do that today because um, I couldn't find an appointment. My daughter's going on a class trip and it's just been a mess with the passport because it's not expired yet. Uh, I was told I was told wrong. So anyway, I found a place today that did um, Wednesdays was walk up Wednesday. You didn't need an appointment because if you've tried to get an appointment, for a passport, you know that it takes a while. Well, where I am anyway, it takes a while. And um, even to expedite a passport is taking longer. So, because everyone's expediting passports now, because everyone wants to travel. So yeah, so, um, cause my first appointment I could find is at May 9th. Um, so I was lucky to find a walk up Wednesday where you have to go and just wait. <clears throat> They don't open till eight. This one guy, the first guy in line, got there at 3.30, 3.30. Second guy got there at 5.30. So I got lucky, I think I was 12th in line. I got there at, my daughter and I got there at 6.45 um, and we were done by like 10.55. So not the way to go. If you can get an appointment and have time, do that, but just check your passport and just know it has to be six months. Some countries are three months, some are six. I would go with the six just to be safe. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've learned something. And I would like to say that people at the passport office, uh, super nice, super friendly. And uh, even though, you know, no one wants to wait in line all that long, they're very friendly and, and it wasn't awful, I guess. It wasn't awful. But they were very friendly, so I appreciated that. So, fingers crossed that she gets it in time. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, so I just wanted to, something I've learned, I just wanted to pass it on to you just in case you didn't know. So, just check your passport and make sure it's six months valid from when you return. That makes sense. So, I did ask for an explanation on why you would think the expiration date is the expiration date. But she told me that uh, if you get stuck in the country for some reason, if you know maybe you're sick or you get hurt or something, and then your passport expires while you're in a hospital, and then you can't get home. So that's that's the reasoning behind it. So anyway, check your passport if you're traveling out of the country. And if you try the McFlurry, and if you're traveling to other countries, check the McDonald's because they probably have fried pies. Mm, makes me so mad. Or I guess I could just go to Hawaii. They have them too. Anyway, if you try the Strawberry Shortcake McFlurry, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.